Okay, child. The chaos begins. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new here, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. Make sure you're subscribed, be part of the family. Move-in day is approaching. Um, today is the day before move-in day. So yeah, the chaos begins, okay? As you can see, it's just boxes all around me, behind me. The kitchen is pretty much empty. Let me give y'all a quick recap of these past four days. Um, also, first, let me just say, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get myself a pat on the shoulder because I packed up my whole house in basically three days. Yeah, I started packing Friday, like really started packing Friday. So that gave us Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today we are wrapping everything up, and tomorrow is moving day. So tomorrow my movers get here at about 9 or 10 a.m. So I just know that it's going to be busy. It's going to be hectic. So I went ahead and called my apartment today that I'm moving to. And I asked them if I could stop by and do a walkthrough of the unit. And they told me, yeah, I could come. So, hey, that's perfect. And anybody that's moving into a new space, I highly recommend that you go ahead and, um, you know, get a walkthrough, even if it's a video that they send you of your actual unit. Because, you know, I had a chance to go through and tour the property, tour the models, and get some videos of like how my unit is going to look, but I haven't actually toured my personal unit. So I'm gonna get to do that today. And then I might give you guys a little tour, a little sneak peek as well. And just wrap my mind around the reality. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I have an appointment with them at about 1.30 to go and tour my actual unit today. And then I'm just gonna finish up packing everything, okay? Let me give y'all a little sneak peek of my place. So, okay. This is how the kitchen is looking right now. I did the kitchen last night and we are pretty much done. Um, have quite a few boxes and I made sure to put the fragile stickers just so the movers can know like this is kitchen stuff there's glass in here be careful girl this is all the wine bottles alcohol for mixed drinks you know your girl likes to i like to experiment with the cocktails sometimes so these are all like bottles that i'm not gonna be taking with me these are gonna be dumped out um these have to go into a special box i just am gonna make sure i put them in a smaller box and i have to get more um, papers like this to protect them. My rug from Amazon got here yesterday so I just left it in this box and it's a beautiful rug that I'm gonna have in my living room y'all. So pretty. Now um, let's get into this part child. I know it looks crazy. I know I know I know I know I know <laughs> but listen much everything is in boxes i just have to close down the boxes okay this desk basically has been falling apart so i'm not taking that with me i'm actually gonna take it down later today and it's going in the trash because i don't think we can use this anymore also we'll be taking these down today i need to take this mirror down i know things look really crazy y'all but i've got it under control i got it under control we're about done I also went ahead and rented a storage space. I feel like that was the perfect thing to do because I'm not taking my couch with me. I will be selling or giving it away. But in the meantime, it's gonna go into storage. My bed frame is also going in there. I'm not personally taking that with me. So in the new space, we're gonna have a new couch, new decor, new bedroom. Those will be delivered the day after I move in. So I'm super duper excited because it's just going to be a new space, new furniture, new year, new everything, okay? And I'm very excited for that. But I will be using that storage room mainly for the bed, the mattress, and then little things that I know I won't be using in my space. But eventually when I do purchase a home one day, I do want them there. So I'm going to put those in storage too. So that's the plan that's a little recap okay let's do a quick outfit of the day we still have our ikea helmet mirror up in here so might as well use it but this is the vibe of the day um this zip up is from amazon y'all i got this in like every single color let me go ahead and say i will have the link down below and let me tell you your girl went ahead i'm finally making my amazon storefront 
after decades okay so i will make sure to have it linked down below but yeah this is from amazon i'm wearing a small it's super duper comfy and then i love how like i love how it is designed around the waist it kind of like snatches you up and it's really comfortable material is pretty cool so yeah top from amazon my pants are from hold on let me check <laughs> my pants are target these are the aritzia dupes and i just had this Louis Vuitton tote just I can just throw everything in here and I have to worry about running out of space because you guys are coming with me so I'm gonna need my big old camera in here and um other things too so yeah that's the outfit of the day and then for shoes I think I'm just gonna wear some sneakers maybe my Chanel sneakers or my Nike and that's it girl I put my hair in this little bun I'm so glad I got these braids because moving week is busy it's chaotic and i do not want to have to wear about my hair so just got to sleep down the baby hairs and we good to hold go on, hold on hold on i'm trying to do a hundred different things at a time hold on hi taja um can i have a grande iced matcha um i'll do oat milk and can i have half of a shot of espresso in there and um, one pump of brown sugar syrup and light ice, please. Okay. That'll, that'll be all. You said how many pumps of brown sugar? Oh, uh, one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Girl, it's me with the half of a shot of espresso. Because for real, my jumpy self, I will be up all night and anxious. I'm trying to film a TikTok too, y'all. Trying to get back on the ticket tock. Hello. Which card? Which card? Okay. Oh no, ma'am. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I think I should have done two shots of brown sugar syrup because it's missing. It's missing a little bit of that sweetness. You need to stick to what you know. Stop trying new things. Nah. <laughs> I should have stuck to what I already know. Ooh, but I wanted to try something new. We are on the go. I'm about to head to the apartment right now to do the inspection. So they actually also gave me a list of things that when I do the walkthrough today, if I see anything in the apartment that don't look right, that look broken, chipped, you know, that's not supposed to be there, I can mark that on the inspection form and let them know. So I'm glad I'm gonna do that today so I can let them know ahead of time and they could probably fix it. If there's something wrong, they can fix it before I move in. This bigger space, it's gonna be dope. I'm already thinking about how I want my office to be in this new space i want the second bedroom to be very much an office space and it's going to be an inventory space for my businesses as well so i'm already thinking about decor i'm thinking about aesthetics <laughs> thinking about how i want it there but you guys one thing about taja i'm not the most creative person when it comes to like decor so if you guys have any like great ideas and mock-ups of a business layout not a business layout a business room layout business slash inventory room layout dm me send it to me talk to me in the comments i'm trying to think of a way that i can have this room to where it's one it has my business desk and it has my inventory and it still looks very put together so if y'all got any ideas uh, throw it at me i'm here to receive it all y'all gonna let me know regardless that's what i love about y'all one thing about y'all y'all gonna be in the comments letting me know I will see you guys once we get there. I'm going to focus on this road and I'm going to jam up to some Afrobeats. <laughs> BRB. Okay, finally made it up here, y'all. The key wasn't working. The key that they gave me to tour the unit wasn't working, so I had to go back downstairs and they had maintenance meet me up here to open the door for me. But we're right here. <laughs> <laughs> we are here oh my god oh my god okay this air finally going off because it was sold out up in here oh my god okay so 
Let me just check a couple of things up in here first, guys, and then we'll get into this tour, okay? I know y'all wanna see, y'all wanna see, baby. Let me, oh, yes to the storage space. Oh my God. I love the cabinets. I didn't think I was gonna like the dark cabinets, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, didn't have the unit with the light cabinets, but I actually do not hate it at all. So the fridge has a little dent in here, so I need to make sure I take a picture of that and notate it. Those are, you know, this is why I'm here, to, to do my little inspection. Inspection gadget. I was checking to see if the cabinets have that like soft close, but they don't. So turn on the lights. When you first walk in, you have the washer dryer to your right. I am so glad I have this space here. Let me just say, what is this beeping I just heard? To the left, Look at all of this storage. Yes, storage, okay. I can hang up my big coats up in here, items that I just need extra space for. I'm gonna have a little shoe rack, you know, thing going on here. So when my guests come in, they can put their shoes in here. I can put my shoes in here. And then we are walking down the entryway. I have been thinking about, um, an entryway table to have up here and then maybe some paintings or a mirror i'm gonna definitely do something with this space here this is the door and then we have our beautiful kitchen yeah this beeping is driving me crazy i'm not gonna lie beautiful kitchen we do have dark color cabinets that at first i was like mm, i don't know how i feel about it i really do not hate it so yeah very spacious kitchen i have a standalone island. This is my first time actually having a standalone island. It's very spacious with the deep sink. Okay. And then we are walking up into the living room. <laughs> Y'all look at all of this space. Look at all of this space. My couch is getting here in two days. So I'm super duper excited. I think we'll have plenty of space for the couch, the rug. My TV is gonna go up here. There is so much space here. There is so much space. And we have our balcony outside, a nice little balcony space. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's walk into the master bedroom. I was gonna say bathroom. Master bedroom, which is pretty spacious. Um, I do have a queen size bed. I think we'll be all right with that. Can't wait for y'all to see the bed. Um, it gets delivered also the same day with the couch. And then I'm gonna have my mirrors and um, nightstands on each side of the bed. Then there is space for my TV up here, my dresser, all that good stuff. Okay, now let's get into this master bathroom because People be saying that the bedroom is where the magic happens. I think the bathroom is where the magic happens, okay? This is where skincare happens. This is where the shower routine happens. This is where makeup happens. This is where I spend a lot of my time. So, um, yes to the double sink, okay? Yes to the double sink. Y'all know I have about this much space in my uh, bathroom now, okay? So everything is always crammed up. So we definitely have more space. Can we get into this tub and shower combo? I am living for this because sometimes I'm in the mood for a bath and sometimes I'm in the mood for just a stand up shower. I love this space right here, girl. The shower routine, <laughs> the morning routine is gonna come. And I did order um, a different shower head off Amazon. So we're gonna be replacing that one. And I can't wait for that. The lighting in here, y'all, is giving me so much life. Look at this lighting. Oh, God. <gasps> okay, so master closets. 
Where's the light for the closet? Bam! Master closet in here. Pretty spacious, I feel. Yeah, this is, this closet is pretty much how my other closet is. Pretty spacious. And then we have the closet in the guest room too. So that's more space for me. Um, let's move on to the guest bedroom and bathroom. Guest bedroom, so spacious. This is huge. Wow, this is pretty big. Most of the time, you know, they really don't give you that much space in your guest bedroom, but this is pretty spacious. And so, like I told you guys, my plan for this room is going to be solely my office. Um, I'm gonna have an office space here. So of course I want my desk here. I want a nice decor in the background. See, it's coming from here. And then I'm gonna have my inventory rack against this wall um, because we're gonna need inventory for my business with my scrubs and Taja's Lux Boutique. So this is going to be where the magic happens as well. This is the money-making room, okay? This is the deal-making room. This is the guest closet. Okay, so I'm gonna have all of my extra junk up in here. And then let's get into the bathroom. Guest bathroom. So right now, I think this is how my bathroom, in my other apartment, I think this is how my bathroom looks right now. Okay, this is about how much space that I have. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so these are soft clothes. The kitchen is not. Okay, that last one went too. More space. And then we come back out to the kitchen and living room space. This completes the new apartment tour, y'all. New space, um, new blessings. God is amazing. It is all thanks to the men above. <laughs> I'm blessed, man. I just, five, ten years ago, I just never saw myself in this position and entering rooms like this and having opportunities like this. Um, but God said, yes, you will. I, I just, I just want to publicly thank God for what he's been doing in my life behind closed doors because she's a very blessed girl. She's a very blessed girl. I love my space, my new space. I'm really happy with it. And I can't wait for y'all to see more and what we, you know, how we turn this apartment into a home. I thank y'all so much, man. I thank y'all for continuing to watch me and support me in my journey and all the endeavors that I embark on because I wouldn't be in this position right here, right now, today. Without y'all's support as well and without you guys um, continuously supporting me and, and, you know, watching me grow and supporting everything that I do, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for y'all, man, so much. I'm gonna take a minute and say a prayer and talk to them in above, pray over my space, pray over my new house. Um, home, apartment, but thank y'all so much for always rocking with me, man. For real, for real, thank you guys so much. I'm not about to get emotional, but this really feels amazing and I'm very grateful for every single way that you guys support me every single time. I love y'all. So we are at Target. I came here for this and I found myself browsing. Girl, we ain't even moved in yet. You already have all this stuff at your house that needs to be moved out. And you're browsing at pillows. My freaking pillows. I feel like every other day I wake up with a sore neck. My pillows are done for. They're done. Two of them are so flat. They have no cushion. They're horrible. Like I'm done with my pillows. So done. Um, so I'm in the pillow aisle at Target. There are so many different brands. Like, what's good? <laughs> I say, Kylie, what's good? You know, what's what's a good one? But um, I've heard a lot about this brand, Casaluna, and they're 25 each. 
It says that it's firm back inside sleepers, hypoallergenic, and then they also have a cool version of it too. I don't care for the cool version. I'm not that person that gets like hot at night and have night sweats. Let me get them right now. Get some pillows. Just got two for now. They're 25 each. And then I got the tape. What else do I need? I'm back in my current apartment. But this is so crazy. I am boxing up some of my stuff and I found one of my journals um i feel like every time i try to start and keep up with a journal i only read about a couple pages and then i stop but so i'm gonna go ahead and read this journal entry because i feel like it's so crazy looking back at the journey looking back at where i was my mindset and i just want to share that with y'all so this journal entry was done i was 22 when i wrote this so how many years was that i'm 27 now five years dear journal <laughs> and i put five l's dear journal i know it's time to pour out my feelings because i have had this journal for over two months and i've been avoiding writing in it it is now time i don't know where to start being 22 and what i have accomplished so far is amazing i owe it all to god because i reflect on what happened to me in haiti during and after that earthquake and i am so blessed to be alive walking and still have my family around i have been in the u.s for five years now with my mom i finished high school here went to college and now i am a dental hygienist this is surreal the moment i stepped my foot in my college classroom i started working towards my goal a better future i was determined not to work for seven dollars an hour for long and boy did it pay off ching ching <laughs> lol i'm silly but so much has changed to better things and not so good things. And I stopped writing. <laughs> this is why I wanna keep, um, keep up with my journal this year because I can look back at things like this and it takes you back to a space, an era, a time of your life. And just always remember that things are temporary. Like things will get better. Things are always going to get better in your favor. And you have to keep your head up and keep being positive. Okay. Yeah, that was my journal entry. 22 year old Taja. I feel like my mindset has always been like go get it. And don't take things for granted and work hard for the things that you do. And I'm going to always be here inspiring you guys and pushing you guys to do that. Look at my class picture from kindergarten. Oh my God. If you were in this class with me, comment down below. <laughs> um, this was 2000, year of 2000, 2001. Can y'all tell where I'm at? I'm going to spare y'all the uh, headache because a lot of us look alike and we have the same hairstyles. This is me right here. Let me focus. Y'all see me? My head held high. Okay, baby girl, you better hold your head high. Yeah, y'all. The good old days. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm working on sorting through mail, papers, just paperwork stuff. And I'm putting them in this box to go in my office. High school graduation. This was my high school graduation pick. Y'all don't care about that, huh? Y'all like, girl, we do not care about that. I used to be in a dance group. A lot of you guys don't know this about Taja, but I think one day I need to do a like get to know me video so y'all can know like the real me. When I was in Haiti, I used to be in a dance group called Fantastic Ladies. And girl, we used to have bookings and get little gigs to go and perform on shows. Like we used to be doing like the choreography dance. Like I'm talking about very professional Chris Brown background dancer type of stuff, okay? and oh my god these ladies man it was just so good but this is a picture of us this was right after one of our shows and girl we used to make some money i've been hustling since i was a jit that what you say a jit what does a jit mean since i was a jit i was a hustler baby i got that from my mama hey girl hey girl 
I'm checking in with y'all. I've been forgetting to really pick up the camera. <laughs> oh, oh, we're about to go get some food, you guys. This is a little food break. I am starving. I what did I eat today? I think I just had breakfast. So me, Jayla, and Jasmine, we're about to go grab some food. Call moon right there. Yeah, I do. We're getting close. I see half of a moon. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Y'all look at the moon. We're getting closer. Unless you're able to take a picture of the 10 minutes away. 13. We're going to views tonight, y'all. Views bar and grill. Um, have either either of you guys been? No. I haven't been either. I've been wanting to go, whatever. They got a um every Monday, y'all, fifty dollar all you can eat crab legs. Yes, y'all gotta go to views. Let me give y'all a sneak peek of the city. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you need help. I have never seen like the city so busy. This is giving me New York City vibes, isn't it? Girl, these few little people. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the New York girl right here. No, J Lo. What I mean is like, look, look. Like the taxi, the road, in the intersection. I the five. <laughs> yes, look at this. The and then I never see these. What do you yeah, call these? It's a little Blue boys. New York corner. It do get five percent New York. Go jazz. Or no, maybe not. Watch out for the pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine, she gonna make it to the intro because that has to be the <laughs> intro of this vlog. Because <laughs> right. tonight would be the night that I would fall over you. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like it though? <laughs> Literally. It be 20. Sounds better. I do. So how is the food, y'all? Fucking disgusting. Let's talk about it. No, for real. Because I'm so tired of being nice. It's, we keeping it a hundred this year. That food, I see why it's just views. It's nothing but views there. But one thing I will say, those crab legs did what it had to do okay. and I would never forget that place because of crab legs. <laughs> that steak, I was better off going to Waffle House and getting me a T-bone. That steak and those instant mashed potatoes, I didn't taste not one clump of potato at all. So I will say that that food is not it. That place is called Views because there's nothing but views there. And we're out of everything. Let's talk about it. Jayla asked some Sierra Mist. How you out of Sierra Mist? Who even orders that? Don't piss me you off. Usually they're out of Sprite and they do have Sierra Mist. Like, usually like what? Places are not usually yeah, out you're of done. Sierra Yeah, But I want to be back Mondays to get that seafood. No, but Mondays, other than that, they will find me here on Mondays. And they so lazy. Everything is Bro. like, I'm like, what's right though? I actually really like my lamb chops. I'm not going to lie. They were not bad. I did get meat uh, well done. I would recommend well done because I could still see a light little pink, but I didn't mind it. Um, the mac and cheese was okay. It wasn't the best one I I thought Jenna said she loved it. Hers, yours looked like it had more of a crust on top. So it might have been better. It's, Mine it was wasn't. Good. Love is a strong word. <laughs> Jazz, you get the perfect parking spot. It is moving day. Last morning in this apartment. Oh my god. I slept amazing. It's crazy. I set my alarm for 8 o'clock today. But 6 o'clock, I was up. I'm just like, we got things to do. I have to finish taping up these boxes. I want to wash my sheets. And kind of finalize everything before the movers get here this morning. The movers are getting here at 10 a.m. And we are, you know, they're gonna load up the truck 
first stop is going to be the storage room to drop off my couch, this bed. Other couple of things that I will not be taking to my apartment for now. And then we are heading to my new space. So. I will see you soon. I shall see you soon, ma'am. See you soon. Bye. Girl, if only y'all knew what it just took my mom to stop by Starbucks before getting here. A lot of begging, a lot of directions. The lady does not follow her maps. She getting lost. Starbucks is right down the road, huh? So she finally got us some breakfast. She got us some coffee, some breakfast, because it's gonna be a long day, it's gonna be a busy day. It is 9.02. The movers get here at 10 a.m. And I'm pretty much done, y'all. My boxes are closed. Okay. Just gotta close that last box that had toiletry stuff and I just took a shower, so I'm not gonna need that. My sheets are getting washed and I'm going to do some minimal cleaning of the space, like wiping things down, picking up stuff off the floor before I turn in the keys. I will, I will, um, I'll pick y'all back up in a bit. Let me go ahead and get this stuff done, okay? Hey girl. My bear is in the building. Good, it's been a minute. I know it is. Not for me, but for y'all. <laughs> this is how my drink got here. So somebody needs to talk about something. Cause like, she she said it wasn't her. No, you know I don't drink stubbles. I don't even know what it is. I feel like if they had if they handed me my drink like this, it would have been like, um, where's the rest of the drink? Maybe the ice melted. This is but if the ice me. melted, oh, what's that more? For more, it should be more, yeah. It took me like literally five minutes to get here. So not even five minutes. And it's cold outside. It's cold outside. Outside. I was reading that. All right. Thank you for Starbucks. Appreciate it. Hey, y'all. Is she recording me? Who is it? <laughs> she was very emotional last night. Are we gonna miss the place? No. She talks, 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 talks. I'm moving on for you. Huh? I'm moving on for you. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Of course. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Say hi to the vlog. The vlog. What's These are people on YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Tell them your name. My name is Nate. You can follow me on, on uh, Facebook at Nate Safari. Oh, now you got to You know what I'm saying? Say now. For real? Yeah. Follow me on Instagram too at, um, What's your Instagram? at Rich Nate. Rich Nate? Rich. R-E-A-C-H period Nate. Y'all, they gonna, they gonna really follow you, Nate. Are you ready for the, for the heat? I'm ready for the heat. I'm ready for the heat. Take it easy on Nate, y'all, but they've been doing an amazing job with the place. I am very satisfied, so mm -hmm. y'all do y'all thing. <laughs> I'm home! We are finally home, y'all. Finally moved in. Boxes everywhere. <laughs> but don't worry about it because I'm going to get to work up in here. That's why I took the whole week off to really like make sure I'm unpacking, organizing, cleaning. But the movers just dropped off everything. My mattress got here too. Got a new mattress. I get my mirrors installed tomorrow. I get my TVs mounted tomorrow. And my couch and bedroom set is getting installed here tomorrow. I feel like today went by really smooth. I'm like really satisfied with the movers. They're experienced, they know what they're doing. They got me in and out of my house. And they quoted me like initially, we thought my move was going to be like five, six hours and it didn't even take that long. It is um, 2.48 and we're about done. We started at 10 a.m. So I'm very happy. The first thing on my mind right now is to deep clean my place. And I would have rather done that before everything got moved in, but didn't go as planned. And I have things everywhere. So I'm going to be deep cleaning my space. I stepped at Target again today and got more cleaning supplies. So we're gonna get this place spotless. 